All right, too much Buckeye hate around here <laughs> these days. We had to bring one in for ourselves. <laughs> Kirk Herbstreit will be on the show at the top of the hour with Reese and the guys. I guess my question for you, Kirk, is who do you just think right now is the best team in college football? Well, I think you must have taped those before yesterday's games because yeah, because I think Alabama made a really loud statement with their performance. Georgia. Sam, I know you guys are, are in the middle of NFL, getting close to the playoffs, but Alabama has not been the team that they were yesterday. And Georgia has been. And that's why we play college football. You kind of expect the unexpected. And it was a dominating performance. You got to give Bryce Young. He probably secured the Heisman Trophy, also knocked off Georgia, and also I think will end up putting Alabama back to where they're used to being, which will be the top team in the country as we get ready for the announcement uh, later today. I don't know that, but that's my feeling. I mean, Michigan, uh, based on what they've done, uh, very, very strong performance yesterday uh, in Indianapolis against Iowa, 42-3. to they would have, you know, that's if there's anything we're waiting to see is will Michigan go all the way up to one or will Alabama after they knocked off Georgia be one? My guess would be Bama because of that performance against a dominating Georgia team will be the, the top team. Yeah, it was impressive. No doubt about that. Let's talk about one of the Bama boys that's been in the NFL this year. That would be Mac Jones. You spent a lot of time with Mac, but there were a lot of people doubting the difference he could make in that list of first round rookie QBs. What have you thought of what you've seen of Mac with the Patriots so far this well, year? If you remember, I did that QB 21 where I sat down with all the guys who were going to be selected in the first round and had a chance to, to watch film with them. And, uh, and the thing that stood out to me, everybody asked me, what, what, what was most impressive with all these guys? And I said, I don't know who's going where, or who's the best player. Who's, but as far as processing, as far as when you talk to a guy and he's on the board and he goes, oh, they have safety did this, boom. I mean, just boom, 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 boom. It's just his brain fires in a very unique way. And that was college. You never know how that's going to transition up to the NFL. But of all the guys, I, I remember telling a lot of your NFL people, uh, I, I, I don't know where Mac Jones will go, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he un, ends up being a guy that gets somewhere and, and probably has the, the, salt, the shortest learning curve because of the system that he came out of and because of how quickly he understands and grasps defensive coverage and where to go with the football. And he's obviously had a great start. Yeah, you were proven right on that very quickly. So is there a Mac Jones this year for all the people that have pretty much just been watching NFL? Is there anybody in the college game at the quarterback position that you can no. see having? Oh, OK. Never, I want to no. finish the question then. No, no. It's, it's, it, there, there's guys that have some physical abilities, but nothing uh, that I've seen. Now, I haven't sat down and, and watched film and, and that kind of thing. But even when you watched Mac Jones last year execute, and you'd sit down with him in a production meeting and talk to him about what do you think of, of this coverage and what Ohio State's going to try to do in the national championship, it was almost like talking to an offensive coordinator or just a coach. And so even, even before I sat down and did that QB21, there was just a, just a very different vibe from him. And I don't feel that. And not to knock any of these guys, it's just it's, it's, it's a different way of, of executing. Matt Corral stands out to me right now. I, I've been impressed with what he's done, the commitment he made to his team. He was at the facility at 5 a.m. He and Lane kind of challenged each other who could get to the facility earlier. I love his skills. I love what he can do. His competitive fire is very unique. Um, he would be the one guy that I'm, I'm interested in seeing as you guys get ready you know, for the draft and, and start dissecting who's out there. Can't wait to hear more from you on these guys as we lead up to the draft. I know you're a busy man. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Herbie. You got it, Sammy. Take care. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.